Wanna know something? I like Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It's definitely my favorite game of all time, and my most played game back when I was a kid. Even to this day I can absolutely cruise through the game with all the emeralds. It's like an old habit, can't just play the game, I need to also get all the emeralds. But back then something really bothered me. I noticed paths I couldn't get through with Sonic, or Tails. Try getting past with the shields, try getting past with the emeralds, nothing worked. Of course now I know this is because that path is part of the Knuckles only route, and you might be wondering, why the fuck didn't you know that? You just had to link Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles to get past that wall, you absolute fucking dumbass. Well, let me explain. I was born in Argentina, and we didn't really have an official retailer for Sega, or Nintendo for that matter. We mostly relied on reproductions or pirated copies, and because of that we didn't really get the ultra cool lock-on technology cartridge, we got a regular ass one, so we couldn't have the full Sonic 3 and Knuckles experience. So my younger self lost countless of hours trying to get through those walls. But now with the magic of debug mode I decided to play around a bit, because I always wonder what would happen if you go through the Sonic areas as Knuckles, or vice versa. For this experiment I'm gonna be using the amazing mod Sonic 3 Complete. Now if you don't know what that mod is about, you can check Cybershell's video on it, it's pretty damn great. Alright, enough shitting around, let's dig in. Now to start our debug adventure we must first activate the damn mode. To do this we need to go to Mushroom Hill Zone, grab one of those lift things and then press left, 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 right, 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 up, up, up. If done correctly a ring sound should chime in. After that you just pause the game, press A and go to the level select screen. Now to actually access the debug mode, you need to hold A, select the area, and there you go, you enter the world of debug mode, a realm where you control the flow of the fucking world. Now the magic starts. We know that Knuckles knocks the super transformation out of you, and you just stare at him, stunned while he swipes all the emeralds. Well, with debug mode, we can break free from the cutscene and nail the little bastard. Or not, if we prevent Knuckles from despawning, we can actually follow him through a little bit of the zone which messes up the color palette in the background. Now let's just see how much we can push it. Fucking sick. Our first stop is the fucking wall. I'm sorry, I have to pay my respects. This fucking wall drove me insane as a kid. And now we're getting through and we will witness the orgasmic closure to a child's miss- After all these years, this is how you pay me. So yeah, if you get across the dreaded wall, there's instant death waiting. You can try going further, but you will still die. You can also try wiggling your way in, but it will just jerk you away from the area, forcing you to go through the normal route. So no, you cannot face Knuckles only Flamecraft. Now let's try the same with Knuckles. In your regular run, you cannot jump high enough to reach the Sonic area. Let's get up there and see what's what. Well, the Flamecraft battle triggers, but it's not here. It's actually back in the Knuckles area, down there, forcing you to clip your way back down. So no, you cannot battle Sonic's only Flamecraft. Back to Sonic and after the sub-boss, we can clip back to Knuckles' area. Destroy the floor, go down the slope and... dead. For some reason the camera is fixed in that position, which would correlate with Sonic's map position, which means the bottom is instant death. Doesn't matter how further ahead you go, you cannot properly play Knuckles' map. It's actually kind of funny to see that no matter how much further you go, the area is always underwater. Even if you reach the non-functional boss area, which, by the way, again, that wall. Strangely enough, when I returned to the Sonic area, the background was completely black. And some of the enemies were messed up too. The camera was also fixed and wouldn't follow Sonic, meaning that if I touch the bottom I die. Now the boss battle, though glitched, still played out. Back to Knuckles, when you reach Sonic's path, the game plays out normally. Except for one big change. There's no water at all throughout the stage. Even the waterfall sent me there. Fascinating. When you reach the end of a stage, the flying battery doesn't spawn. So it's a clear shot to the, uh, nothing. Boss won't show up again. If you want to complete the stage, you need to go back to your own swamp. And that's all for Angel Island. Now on to Hydra City. For this one, the only exclusive area is that little room where Knuckles presses the switch that makes your bridge collapse in Act 2. 
Facing inside will allow us to continue a bit more until we face a long ass field of spikes. Flying through with the power of Jesus, let us reach the boss area, which, again, it's nothing but a dead end. Now if you clip your way through, you can actually reach the Act 2 area, but it's completely barren, with only the structure around, but none of the enemies, hazards, springs, nothing. With Knuckles, it's basically the same, no boss spawns, you can run to the dead end, and again, the Act repeats. Marble Garden is very unique, the path splits when you reach this Legend of the Hidden Temple looking motherfucker. As Knuckles, you can't jump high enough to kill it, and you can't climb the wall next to it either. If you kill the statue, the level actually moves forward normally. You can even reach the fucking final boss, look at that! Even Tail shows up to help you. This is the first time you can break the game, but actually complete this stage. I'm very glad. Same with Sonic, when you get up there you might need to use a debug mod to pass some walls, but other than that it's perfectly functional. You can even battle Knuckles' boss. This is truly wonderful and useful information. Moving to Carnival Zone. With Sonic, you might just need to clip through some walls and that's it, basically. Act 2, however, it gets a bit more interesting. I mean, as interesting as a video about this shit can get. You can completely skip Knuckles shutting down the power and play the rest of the song with the light zone. Fucking incredible. But the end of the stage is kind of weird. Going to the Knuckles area makes the rest of the song flooded. It also really fucks with Knuckles' palette here. Skipping here is a dead sentence, since in the regular Knuckles run there's no boss in here. You're just stuck in here waiting to drown to death. Knuckles won't even save your ass. The fact that you never face a boss as Knuckles here always bothered me. Why wouldn't we be facing a boss? Why break the wheel like this? Well, if you get to Sonic's boss battle, it actually triggers. It even has a custom sprite for the Egg Robo. Why would you make this sprite if we were never meant to face this boss? After you beat him, you reach the area where the teleporter should be and you travel to Ice Cap. Not much to notice here, only an alternate route to the subbus, Ice Ball, and that's it. But, just for shits and giggles, let's see how much we can fuck up the snowboarding scene. Perfection. Launch base zone. Now this is gonna get interesting. This is the end of the Sonic 3 part of the game, so breaking the game linking should be fun. In Act 1, as you're approaching the sub boss, you'll notice that in the Sonic run, you can enter this weird castle looking place. While in Knuckles' run, there's no door. You'll need to climb up and reach a different door that drops you to the boss battle. While we cannot enter Knuckles' part, we can see a bit of the stage with careful moving. And with Knuckles, we cannot even see the boss area for Sonic. It's completely inaccessible. Now on to Act 2. Side note, playing with the debug mode can leave lasting effects, like Monitor Sonic. Reaching the Knuckles' area boss triggers nothing. You can wait all you want, but Robotnik isn't coming. You can move to the right to do an epic dive into a glitchy abyss. Nothing else you can do here. You can move to the left and see the place where you would battle the big arms boss underwater, the rest of the dead egg, and even Knuckles. Unfortunately, since you've decided to play with the fabric of reality, your own area will be messed up, with the floor completely gone. You can still beat Eggman and grab the Eggmobile, the rest of the battle will play as normal. Yep. I miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> with Knuckles, you'll get similar glitchy results. When you move to the Sonic Path, you'll notice, just like in Angel Island, that the place is drained. No water at all. This isn't really a problem, you can just complete the rest of the zone like nothing. When you reach the boss area, guess what happens? Come on, just just guess what happens. You can move around and reach the area where the big arms should be, but again, fucking nothing. Another side note, uh, decided to return to the Knuckles path and for some reason the floor was gone again. Had to spawn some floor tiles just to beat the stage. Mushroom Hill is pretty tame, nothing really stands out. Except that if you move with the debug mode instead of with your feet, you can prevent the stage from changing stations. Uh, side note 3, I wanted to return back to see if I can mess up with the palette and uh... Yeah... We're reaching the end here. We can skip flying battery entirely as there are no character exclusive areas here. Same with Sandopolis. I mean, there are a couple of them, but they all converge to the same path eventually. Lava Reef is kinda interesting. 
you can play the area just fine and when you reach the end of Act 2 with Sonic, you can actually prevent Knuckles from spawning, going completely past him and completing the zone without the boss fight. In Hidden Palace, if you move to the Knuckles area, it just makes the zone a straight line to the boss. With Knuckles, it's pretty anticlimactic actually. You can play Sonic's parts no problem, but since you're Knuckles and there's no another Knuckles to punch a boulder into you, you can't reach Sonic's boss battle, unless you access it through the level select. And that's pretty much it. Knuckles' story ends at Sky Sanctuary, and it's not the same area as Sonic's. Sonic's... Sonic's... I guess we can go to the Knuckles' version of Sky Sanctuary with Sonic and beat the boss. If we do this, we discover the shocking truth that Sonic is Blue Knuckles. Can you believe that Sonic is actually Blue Knuckles? Me neither! I guess my reason for making this video is just closing a chapter of my childhood. A wall that gave me many sleepless nights and finally smashing that wall brought me closure and a new beginning. And that's kind of just what I needed. After standing in the same place, not doing anything, being unable to move, kind of feels like being stopped by a giant stone wall. And I guess the first step to smashing that obstacle is just doing something. Something out of your comfort zone. Doing something that you didn't actually know that you wanted to do. Or something like that, I don't know, I don't really give a fuck. Hope you enjoyed this autistic journey into something so mundane. Till the next time.